so bad. But I don't think I want to do this for a living. <laughs> Neither do I. That's why I took this job for the summer. Give me time to think. I didn't quite know what I wanted to do after I graduated. Do you know now? I think I'd like to do some office work. But I didn't take the business course. Neither did my sister. And she's been working in an office for three years. Can you type? Sort of. I took typing in school for a year. But I didn't keep it up. Well, so what? You can always take a brush, of course. <laughs> My folks can't afford to send me back to school. I have to get another job right away. Well, how soon's right away? One week? Two? Mm, two, maybe three weeks. Why? I've got a couple of ideas. First, go talk to the people at the state employment agency. Maybe they can help you on getting an office job. That sounds good. What's the other one? Before the kids come back, let's go take a swim. Hey, good idea. <laughs> Beach Club counselor. Now, what were your duties? Well, I took care of the kids. Um, I gave them swimming lessons, horseback riding, uh, campfires, etc. All right. Now, uh, the interviewer told me that the form she was filling out was pretty much like the ones I'd have to fill out when I applied for a job. All right. Now, do you type? Well, a little. By the time she got to the part about job skills and previous work experience. There wasn't much to write in. Can you take shorthand? No. No shorthand. How about uh, machines? Can you run an adding machine or a mimeograph, the duplicator? Can you run any of them? No, I'm afraid not. I don't have to tell you, you uh, your skills aren't uh, quite what we need. Have you ever thought of taking a business course? Yes, but the thing is, I can't afford to be out of a job that long. Maybe that doesn't matter. You don't have to. Lots of high schools offer night courses, you know. You can take a night course, learn shorthand, brush up on your typing so to be faster, learn some of the machines. Do any of your friends work in the offices? Yes. <clears throat> you should ask them to keep their eyes open in case there are any jobs come up for you. Right. And in the meantime, enroll in a couple of good business courses, and you should read the want ads in the newspapers every day. I have been, but they want more experience than I have. It doesn't matter. You keep trying. Uh, incidentally, our office has free aptitude tests and also free vocational counseling services. Would you be interested in that? Yes, if you think it'll help me get a job. I sure think it would. We'll make an appointment for you. How's that? All right. We'll make it for uh, next uh, Tuesday. Can you make it Tuesday at 10.30 in the morning? That's fine. All right. You come in and you'll see us. Put your right hand on the first rivet and your left hand on the first washer. Ready? Begin. Some of the tests were like the ones that I had taken in school, but some of them were new to me. Ready? I figured that even if I didn't pass them all, that I might learn something new about myself that I didn't know before. tests show that uh, you do have an aptitude for clerical work. Probably something that uh, involves a lot of contact with the public. I do enjoy working with people. I think maybe I'd like to be a secretary. Yeah, well, that's something to shoot for anyway. Uh, although you'll need a lot more training first. I've been taking typing at night school and my speed is getting much better. Now, beginning typist jobs require a minimum of 40 words per minute. You think you're that fast? Well... Probably not. Uh -huh. Well, I would suggest that you don't uh, apply for a job like that uh, until you're qualified. In the meantime, how about a job as a, um, a cashier? Well, I suppose. Uh, or how about a receptionist? Now, that would probably help in becoming a secretary. That sounds much better. 
Well, as soon as something like that turns up, we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Yeah. How soon do you think that will be? Uh, I don't know for sure. Well, you see, I've spent most of the money I made this summer. And I can't keep living off of my food. I'm sorry, but I can't promise you anything definite. Um, you shouldn't be hearing from us within five days or so. I sure hope so. Thanks a lot. Well, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Good luck. I wasn't about to sit around waiting. I went to as many personnel offices as I could. For the ones I went to, they had either just hired somebody or wouldn't be needing anybody for at least two months. I was scared I'd run out of money before I found another job. One day I tried a private employment agency. I heard that they collected their fee from the employer instead of the employee. That's the only reason I went there. I'm sorry, my dear, but there's really not much that we can do for you. At first, it was a real blow to me that even an agency didn't want me. After I thought about it, I couldn't blame her. She was just being honest. Now, perhaps when you have completed them, you can come back to see us again and we could help you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your time. One day, I was really down. I went over to visit a girlfriend. We were looking through the paper, and I saw an ad for a clerk typist. No experience required. So I rushed over without changing clothes. That was my first big mistake that day. right over there. And of course, I didn't have anything to write with. I borrow a pen, please? Another thing I forgot was what I call my pocket resume. It has all the basic information they ask you on an application form. Anyway, I forgot the name of my boss at the beach club, so I left that part blank. After all that, I was pretty nervous by the time they called me for the interview. Ruth Fielding. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me help you. Before the actual interview, they gave me some tests. I don't think I could have passed those tests anyway. And after what had happened, I knew how I'd come out. You didn't pass the typing test, Ruth. So I'm afraid we can't consider you for employment now. I guess I should have left after I spilled all the stuff out of my purse. Well, I'd like to think that wasn't so important to me. But to another interviewer, I don't know. The main reason is because you left some blanks here on your application form. We need to know that information as it relates to your work experience. I know, but I didn't bring the information with me. And you're not really dressed for an interview, are you? Look, I rushed over here as soon as I saw the ad. Listen, I need this job, and I need it now. If the job is that important to you, it's all the more reason why you should look presentable and dress appropriately. First impressions really count. You'd be surprised how important first impressions really are. First impressions? That isn't fair. I didn't say it was fair, Ruth. I just said that's the way things are. You know, interviewers aren't machines. We react to people differently, the same way you do. Good luck on your next interview. Thank you. And remember, when your typing improves, you can always reapply. OK. Goodbye. A few days later, the state employment office called me about a receptionist job. I was pretty sure I was qualified. But this time, I made sure I had everything I needed. I knew that I was going to make a good impression on that interviewer. You scored quite well on your aptitude test, Ruth. And your physical exam's fine. When you were in high school, did you ever uh, participate in any extracurricular activities? Uh, I was on the swimming team and the tennis team. How about in areas where you might have gotten some work habits, like the library, the cafeteria, or something like that? I worked on the school newspaper for a while. I was one of the reporters. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What made you decide to get interested in office-type work? 
Well, I like offices. I, I like the people that, uh, that you meet, nice people. And uh, it's clean and gives me a chance to dress well and the money's good. I notice here that you, uh, you go to the Dorsey Night School. Are you uh, preparing for some overall objective and working towards? Yes, I'd like to be a secretary. Okay. May I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. The uh, consolidated mobile, do you, you build the mobile homes, right? Yes, that's what we're most noted for, but we branched out into other areas. Mm -hmm. The job opening that I'm here for, what is it, uh, what area is that in? It's in the service department, servicing this building. Oh, I see, I see. Look, would you excuse me a minute? I want to talk to my boss about something. Of course. I knew he was talking about me, and I couldn't help wondering what he was saying. I thought I had done okay, and he had made it pretty easy for me to just be myself. But it seemed like he was gone for hours. Ruth, I'd like to offer you the job as receptionist. First, let me tell you about the pay scale and vacation policy. The, the salary was about what I had expected. And he told me there would be raises every six months if you qualified for them. The rest of it, vacation and sick leave and all that, sounded good, too. So naturally, I accepted. Ruth, I'd like you to meet Pat Baker, Don's secretary. Hi. Ruth Hello. Fielding. Don, would you step in a minute, please? Don, this is Ruth Fielding. Before I left, I met my new boss, Mr. Gould, and some of the other people. Well, welcome aboard. I was pretty happy. I had my first real job. Bye, Ruth. Bye, Pat. See you Monday. Mm -hmm.